What is there left when you've seen through all of the illusions? Just a flat line, no more days of extreme happiness and no more days of extreme sadness. Will that be life after enlightenment, after having realized the truth completely? Will it be a decision to step into your roles? All the different characters that right now you believe you are. And could that decision become harder and harder to make? For it would require effort to act as the parent who needs to raise his child, who needs his child to become successful. Can you imagine for a moment that right now you would pick up a child from the street and you would be forced to act as if it were your own and that you would have to raise him as a successful one. But you need to keep this act alive for the rest of your life. Would it be similar to knowing what it was like before you heard the truth, you saw the truth, you realized the truth about Santa Claus, and after, before you were acting as a good child for Santa Claus, and afterwards you started to keep the illusion alive for the other children, and you grew up, and you played your role. Is life worth living in the illusion that Santa Claus exists, and that Christmas was the only period in life that it would be continuously Christmas, and that for all of the remainder of your life you would be in this illusion of Santa Claus? I guess the question should be asked differently, because you don't know what you don't know. What if someone told you Santa Claus did not exist? You didn't believe it, but there is something somewhere inside of you that believes, still would believe, but now can you continue to live without exploring for yourself, without finding out the truth, whether he exists or not, that it doesn't matter, all that it matters is that you know the truth, perhaps you can call it clarity, that that is all that matters, that living life clearly is what matters, and that perhaps the only clarity we ever get is that we don't know anything, and that we will that that's perhaps the only things we need to know. So what is the difference between the child who does not explore, does not want to know if Santa exists or not, and the child that needs to know? Is it perhaps the opposite? The other child does not need to know, but that he can't live with not having known, that the alternative is so bad, that the imagined pain and regret of having lived in this illusion while we could have found out that perhaps that is too much and that that is what propels him forward and that he's not a good child because of it and that the other child is just bad for not wanting to know the truth about Santa and perhaps that there is no explanation for why you may be the child who can't not know while the rest around you prefer to remain in their Santa beliefs. It depends on you and you alone. Are you willing to look beyond the presence of Santa? and perhaps never receive them again in exchange for just the truth. That's it. Talk soon. Here's my poem about the essence of this video. Once you see the truth so clear while stepping into roles, bring cheer, playing the parent, friend or guide, would acting these roles still satisfy? If the only truth is knowing I don't know, would I still want to let my ignorance go? To risk everything for a glimpse of light, even if it means an endless night? Conditional truth, love and wealth, do they matter more than knowing oneself? We will all but what is true in this life we wander through when the pain of not knowing outweighs the ease? Transformation begins with such unease, a period of change, a shift in view. What else are you here to do but to seek the truth and see it through? And if you want to find the truth, can't seem to find it, then you can send me an email to work with me physically or virtually, one-on-one. -on -one. But I only work with people to whom money is not a problem. And we are serious. You may watch this video next about a similar story. Talk soon.